Hey, how's it going? I've got my old Marlin 1893 out here and chambered in 3855. Last time I had it out, we were shooting this Jameson and we got the foot per second on that, but I never got the foot per second on the Buffalo bore, uh, which is much hotter than this. This is uh, listed at uh, 1410 foot per second uh the buffalo bore is like 19 something so we'll pull that out in a minute uh i have this old winchester out winchester 94 out just to compare their receiver sizes and the overall gun to each other they were they were competitors Obviously, the 94 is a carbine. It's actually a saddle ring carbine, right? Um, octagon barrel on this 93. I love it. Here's some the rounds right here. This is the uh, this is the only straight wall cartridge I have. This is the, one of the Buffalo bore 3855. We have a 3030 next to it. Uh, just so you can kind of compare really the same length and then we have this this is a 2535 Hornady round uh, which is what the Winchester is chambered in and then here we have a, a Winchester 38 special 130 grain just to uh, compare the the sizes you know there are, it's, a, it's about twice as long uh, so yeah let's uh get the sled set up we'll shoot it through the chronograph and i've got a target set up at 30 yards and an onion and let's uh <laughs> let's let's see what it does all right all set up but uh the horses are in the field so we'll have to wait till they go back to the barn Beautiful Marlin 1893 and 3855 made in 1903. Marlin Marlin safety because the Winchester is ejected out of the top Marlin touted their side eject as a safety feature what else do we have on this barrel Marlin Firearms Company, New Haven, Connecticut, USA, patented October the 11th, 1887, is the first patent date, April 2nd, 1889, the second, then October the 1st, 1893. Then we have Smokeless. Special smokeless steel. And the chamber markings. 3855. Model 18.
chronographs on. Cameras are rolling. Let's put two on on paper and uh, through the chronograph and I'm aiming about about four inches low. Four inches low, front bead in the very bottom of the semi buckhorn. Let's uh, go look at it. Let's move the camera back. 1309 with the buffalo bore. I forgot to look at the first shot. Nope. Oh. Alright. Uh. See, that's pretty close right there. It's like um, onion. lower <sighs> must have just gone right above it Yeah. 
<laughs> Lower Gary. Fourteen thirty nine. Uh, let's do another one in the chrono uh, on the target. That's about one inch. Mmm, smells yummy. <laughs> Alrighty. That's uh, 1323. Um, we are shooting out of a 26 inch barrel and this is saying 1950 feet per second oh um, but it's not really a 13 and 14 we're about 1400 feet per second for 255 grain. Alright. Bonded core. 0.377 diameter. Alright. Uh, I figured I'd do this Jameson on the chrono. I don't have the camera set up down there. Twelve oh three, so a couple hundred feet less. Man, it's a nice trigger. Light recoil. Run down there and see what it hit. Oh. Last one was 1303, 1143 with the Jamesons. 1143, 12, 13, 250 feet or so. 
Wow. That was the uh, buffalo. That's the Jameson. Uh, that was probably that low velocity round right there. Uh, the 1143. That was the 1203. That's the, that's what's up. Thanks for watching.